my name's Louise. We are here for Year 2 Phonics, Lesson 51. Today is Grapheme Introduction Day. Okay, let's do our phonological awareness warm up. It's a bit of a race today. I'm going to say a word and you need to have your pencil and paper ready and you need to record that word as quickly as you can. Then I'm going to give you the next word. You have to figure out what changes, but you need to also write the whole next word. Are you ready? Pencil please. First word, write the word stomp. Now write the word stump. Now write the word slump. Now write the word slum. Now write the word plum. Excellent. That one's a pretty fast one. Remember, you can rewind me and do that again. I'm going to write the answers on the board and then we'll come and check. Let's go through and just check that phonological awareness. So we had stomp. Look at your word. Stomp. What changed? The op to a ah uh for the word stump. Stump to slump. Aha. Uh -huh. The very start of the word, here. Slump to slum, well we dropped off that P, the P phoneme. And then slum to plum, excellent, very good. It's really tricky for your brains to do that sometimes. I know it can get tricky for me when I'm tired or trying to rush, but the more we practice doing that, the better our spelling and our writing becomes. All right, let's get into our definitions. So, phoneme. Say it with me, phoneme. A phoneme is a single sound in a word. Grapheme. A grapheme is a letter or a group of letters that represent a phoneme. A syllable is a beat in a word, must have a vowel sound in it. A digraph is two letters together that represent a phoneme. Trigraph is three letters together that represent that phoneme. And one of those last ones, which is the vowel R combinations that we talk about, and that's when the letter R comes next to a vowel sound and it changes the way we pronounce that vowel sound. So A and R together are R. Ah. Fantastic. It's time for our deck. Okay, remember, we are just saying them together now. Let's go. N, N, O, Ow, I, I, S, E, O, U, U, U. Or, or, mm, I, oi, e, e, u, o, o, o. Terrific. Warm ups done. Time to get into our learning intention. Our learning intention today is we are going to revise multiple graphemes for the phoneme A. What phoneme are we doing? A. Terrific. Now I said multiple because there are lots that you know now. Today is a review. So let's have a look at the graphemes you already know for the phoneme A. A I A. A Y A, split vowel A, single letter A, so it's at the end of that open syllable. E A A, E Y A. 
Now let's go through those again. We do have our picture prompts to help us. Because we know so many now, six graphemes for the phoneme A, it is really important to remember our memory hooks. So AI, usually in the middle of a base word. AY, usually at the end of a base word. Split vowel. And then we have A single A, usually at the end of an open syllable. And then we have EAA. -A. There's only a small amount of words that actually have this spelling. And you're going to learn most of them today. And then we have EYA, as in grey. So they are the six graphemes that we'll be looking at today. Now, do you remember Zana? Zana has made an amazing little memory hook for us. I'm going to place it up on our board now. So on the board, you will see this great little memory hook that helps us remember all of those multiple spellings for that phoneme A. I'll read the sentence to you and you take notice where that red bold is because that is a word that contains the A phoneme. They take a break to play with the baby in the rain and cook great steak. Can you see the picture there? It's just one of those ones that will help us remember all of those different spelling choices. You're going to use this in your independent task at the end of the lesson today. Now, just remembering that the words break, great and steak, we have those three words because they are really the most common three words because there's only actually a handful, not many more. I think there's maybe only five or six words in English that actually have that spelling choice for A, E-A-A. -A. So Zana's done a wonderful trick. She's put them all in the one sentence for us. So they take a break and play with the baby in the rain and cook great steak. If you can remember that little hook, it will help you bond those spellings. Okay, it is up to words to read. So coming to the board now for our words to read section. Firstly, we'll tap and say the first line and then we'll continue on. Have a look on our chart today. You can see that those different spelling choices for the phoneme A have been colour coded today. Okay, let's read these first words. We are going to tap and say first. Now remember, I can't do both at the same time. So you need to get your phoneme fingers up. And are you ready to go? Raining. R -a -n -i -n. Raining. I'm going to point, you're going to tap and say. Playful. P -l -a -f -l. Playful. K -a -x. Cakes. G -r -a Gray. Next one. B -r -a -k. Break. A -l -i -a -n. Alien. Let's break that one into its syllables. A L N. That will help you know that this is the single A on its own. G R A T. Great. B A B E. Baby. Clap, baby. Baby. Two syllable word. Where's that single A? At the end of that first open syllable. The a they it's the voiced one p a p a uh, paper s a uh, a survey s t a k steak okay if your name starts with m all the way through to the z at the end of our alphabet read the first line with me let's go Raining, playful, cakes, grey. If your name starts with A to L of the alphabet, read with me, let's go. Break, alien, great, baby, all together now. They, paper, 
survey, steak. There are lots of choices now for the phoneme A. You have been learning the AI and AY from very early on in school. Some of these ones, the EA, you've had probably, you've probably read books that have contained this spelling. But now when it comes to your writing, you need to really think about what that word looks like and where that A phoneme is in the word and that will help you with your spelling choice. Okay, you can pause the video now and read through those words a couple of times on your own. Go ahead. Okay, terrific. We have done our words to read, but are there any in there that we need to check our vocabulary on? What about, can you find me a word in the second row that I can add the suffix est to? Yes, greatest. Excellent. All right. Can you find me a word that is in the third row and it's a pronoun? They. Excellent. Can you find me a word that's a synonym? So it means a similar thing for infant, fourth column. It's another word for infant, baby. Well done. Excellent. It's now time to go on to our words to write. So while you're getting your pencil and paper ready, I'm going to change over my board. And you know the drill. I'm wanting to see beautiful letter formation here as well as that correct spelling choice. I'm going to prompt you today. I'm going to show you the prompt card that we are going to use in this spelling today. So I'm going to place them in front of me so that I can see them easily, pick them up when I need them. Okay, I have my pen ready. So our first word today is raining. R A N I N. Write the whole word please. Say it as we write. R A N I N. Raining. I didn't give you the prompt like I said I would. Lucky this is an easy word. The next word is A as in play. So this is our spelling choice here today for this next word. Playful. Tap and say. P -l -a -f -o. Ooh, it's that bit of a schwa in there. Right, with me. A uh, oh, word is playful. Please write. Uh, oh, playful. That full is a suffix, but when we speak that word, you'll know that it's the uh, sound of the schwa. Next word. The next word is going to have our split vowel. Spelling choice, the word is cakes, tap and say, k-a-k-s, k-a-k-s, and we know this links back here, don't we? Write the word, cakes, cakes, terrific. Next word is baby. Ha, uh, clap the syllables with me. Baby. Two syllable word. A is at the end of the first syllable, so we know it's open and we're going to use single letter A. Baby. Write with me. A. B. E. Excellent. Write the whole word. B. A. B. E. Next one is they. Now that is going to use this spelling choice, E-Y, for A. Let's write the voiced. The A. They 
Write the whole word. V A. They. Last one. Steak. E A. Spelling choice. E A A. Let's write it. Steak. A. Write the word. St A. Oh, Louise, what's happened here? Nope, I'm going to dot that. Try again. This time I'm going to say the E A because my brain didn't remember it. St E A A. That's just something I try in my head to help me remember. So, st A K. Steak, and I just needed to give myself that extra boost of E-A to remember in there. Okay, let's read our words down. Raining, playful, cakes, baby, they, steak. Excellent. Words to read done, words to write done. It's time to review our learning. So our learning today was we were learning, we were revising actually, multiple graphemes for the phoneme A. We know we have AI usually found in the middle of a base word. We have AY usually found at the end of a base word. We also have our split vowel A. We also have A, single letter A, at the end of an open syllable. We have A as in grey. You now know this one has two different ways. So today is A as in grey. Repeat, A, grey. And last one, E, A, A as in break. Terrific. I need to do some extra learning with this one. Which one was tricky for you? Remember, you can practice going through these as many times as you would like. And your independent task is going to help you do just that. So your independent task today is come over to the board again to our picture cue. So you need to write and illustrate this memory hook into your workbook today. So using a different colour to represent all of the A graphemes, you will write this sentence and you can draw your own illustration. Thanks for joining in with me today. I'll see you next time.